What is up, YouTube? It is Alex here, taking you on a weekend trip to Austin, Texas. In this video, I'll be showcasing a few places that we visited on our weekend trip to Austin that we think you'd enjoy too. Our first stop is at Torchy's Tacos on South Congress. We're here at Torchy's Tacos and we just got, uh, what's the name of these? Mingus. I think Mingus. they're Mingus. Mingos, they're the vegetarian, I think. There's still egg on it, but we're gonna give this a shot. Let's see how this is. How's the sauce? I don't know. Sauce pretty good. Yeah. Sauce is really good. Sauce is really good. They're pretty big. First bite, everybody knows the rules. Shout out bar stool. It's pretty good. They got these little, these little crunchy things. Corn chip thing. That's what's going on. Good. What do you think? Like a seven out of ten? Seven out of ten? Yeah, like it's a pretty seven good. Out of 10. It's pretty good for a breakfast burrito. Yeah. For the size and stuff. It's yeah. I've got some other ones with like brisket and uh, potatoes and so we didn't want anything too heavy though. We know we're gonna have some barbecue later. After our breakfast tacos, we headed up Congress Avenue to check out some local shops like Allen's Boots. There are thousands of cowboy boots for sale here and you're sure to find something that suits your style. Just be sure to bring plenty of cash as these quality boots will likely set you back a few hundred bucks. so much to see and experience on Congress Avenue. Plenty of cool little shops and pop-ups, street performers, you name it. At Malfray's, you can have a custom cowboy hat made. Lucy in Disguise with Diamonds offers tons of masks and costumes to rent or buy. Bye. 
And after all that walking, it's pretty easy to justify getting a scoop of Jenny's ice cream. Later that evening, we decided it was about time for a drink. We headed over to the Wanderlust Wine Collective to quench our thirst. I counted 64 different wines they offer on tap. You could sample every single one if you really wanted to, pay by the ounce. Though I think you better off stick to a handful unless you have a ride home and are ready for one serious hangover. For dinner, we headed off to Valentina's Tex-Mex Barbecue for what else but more tacos. We made a huge mistake by coming at dinner time, as almost everything but chicken was sold out. I bet those brisket tacos are amazing though. We're at Valentina's Tex-Mex. We made a mistake here. We came a little too late, so almost everything good was sold out. but. We got these chef special taco soup thing, chicken. And we got a chicken fajita taco. And we got this corn elote type thing. So. That was good. And that is good. And this. It's also good, but they're known for their brisket tacos, so, but they also have all sorts of other stuff. What is up? We are here at Lady Bird Park in Northeast Austin. It is one of many parks along Lady Bird Lake. This one has unpaved biking and running trails. If you go to the south side of the lake, there's actually a new boardwalk, and I believe there is free parking along Lakeshore Drive. So go check it out. It's a great thing to do in the morning. Get your jog on, get refreshed.
It's barbecue time. We got to Micklewaite's as soon as they opened to be sure the good stuff was still available. The laid back vibe helps you feel at ease. Although the drinks at the saddle up shop help too. So I got a beverage. This is kind of like a Bloody Mary, but it doesn't have any of the tomato sauce. I think it's just like a seltzer and Tabasco, um, other hot sauces, and then just topped with these cool little veggies. And it's really refreshing and light. Better than a Bloody Mary, actually. I kind of like it. Alrighty. Beans, let's try these beans. Beans, good. The mac and cheese is good. Cheesy grits, really good. These collard greens are really good. Mac and cheese, really good. Collard greens, let's see. Collard greens, really good too. They got little pieces of something in it. I'm not sure if that's brisket or pork or... I'd say that might be beef. It's probably little bits of brisket. Okay, here's the brisket. No sauce, let's see. Wow. <clears throat> that is. Wait, no, that's the pulled pork. Yeah. Sorry. Pulled pork is incredible. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got one sausage link. Sausage is good. Casing's pretty tough, but so what? Uh, tastes delicious. All right, here's the brisket. brisket. Mm. Yeah. It's like it's like fat candy. So good. Like. That crust though, that crust is like candy. So good. Man, this coleslaw. <laughs> Super refreshing coleslaw. Very good. Mm, so good. We're gonna, take, we're gonna take like such a long nap after this. Mm. That brisket is so tender. Wow. And the wait was like what? 30 minutes? We got here early though. We got here early. Like right when they opened. 30 minute wait. I heard if you wait till one, that almost everything is sold out. So don't wait. And that goes for most barbecue places. You wait too long, all the good stuff's gonna be gone. Those pickles are pretty refreshing. Cheesy grits, mac and cheese are probably my favorite sides. And the coleslaw is nice and refreshing, especially after eating a bunch of meat. So we got this pork spare rib. We were gonna go for the beef rib, but one beef rib alone was the same price as all of this. Oh my God. 
Got the pork rib. Mm. I'm gonna eat it all. The, both pork. I mean, the quality of the pork is really good. What's your favorite? Like the meats, and what's your favorite of the sides? I think <clears throat> if you were on a budget, you should get the brisket, the pulled pork, the coleslaw, the cheesy grits, or the mash or the mac and cheese. They're pretty similar. I think I prefer the it. cheesy grits <clears throat> Yeah, cheesy grits or mac and cheese. Definitely the coleslaw, definitely the brisket, definitely the pulled pork. The rest, yeah, the, pork pork the rest is fairly optional. Don't watch this part because <laughs> I'm gonna inhale everything. We needed something to keep us awake after all that brisket, so we headed over to Greater Goods for some coffee. The atmosphere here is so nice, so much natural light with bright wooden walls. They also have a food truck out back, Rogue Radish. Another great hiking spot is the Barton Creek Greenbelt. We decided to hike over to Twin Falls although the water level during our visit was extremely low. Sometimes the area is open for swimming. Check out greenbeltnow.com to check current conditions. It is a 10 to 15 minute walk over fairly treacherous terrain from the trailhead to Twin Falls. Keep that in mind depending on the abilities of those you are traveling with or if you plan to bring children. We hurried over to the oasis to watch the iconic sunset over Lake Travis. If you plan to watch the sunset while you eat, be sure to come a couple hours before sunset, especially during peak season. They do not take reservations and are typically quite busy. If you come late, don't worry, there are still plenty of spots to view the amazing sunset from, and boy is it worth the trip. And what is a great night out without some dessert? We scooted on over to Milky Way Shakes where they offer some delicious vegan shakes. 
delicious and vegan? Apparently so. Mine has little stars in it. Yummy. In my tummy. Hamburger is highly rated. Haven't tried it, but a lot of other people have suggested it. This whole plaza, it's a bunch of vegan stuff. The vegan nom. Vegan Nam is a vegan food lover's heaven. Every great trip must come to an end. In the morning, before catching our flight home, we stopped into Flat Track Coffee for one final farewell to Austin, Texas. Did I mention this coffee shop shares space with a bike shop? Two of my favorite things, bikes and coffee. Well, Austin, it was great visiting you. Maybe one day we'll come back to visit the Lone Star State. And you, thanks so much for watching and we hope you got something out of this video. If you appreciate this content, please subscribe to my channel for more. Of course, like this video too if you haven't already. Take care.